Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the words of the Meshiv Nefesh, the Sefer, which is dedicated to restoring our neshamas, our souls, to find excitement and enthusiasm and simcha in the world of Torah and the mitzvahs that we are all a part of, Baruch Hashem. And here he writes the following words from Rav Chaim Velazhener, who was the main disciple of the Vilna Goyim. There are 48 different ways in which the Torah is acquired for a person. And one of them, he writes, is simcha, is happiness and joy. And the reason is, <coughs> someone who learns Torah while they're happy, for one hour, he will learn much more than if he learns many, 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 many hours, but he does it in a saddened state. Says the Ruach Chaim of Chaim an amazing idea. You could learn one hour with happiness and joy, with excitement, with enthusiasm. Or you could learn ten hours, but it's done where you're sad, you're depressed, you're down, your heart's not in it. You will learn and accomplish much more in one hour of happiness than ten hours of atzvus, of sadness, depression, and not being into it. And this is not only for one's learning of Torah, which of course is a tremendous mitzvah which we have to spend time on every day, whether it's five minutes or ten minutes or twenty minutes or one hour or two hours or three hours, whatever your life affords you of. But there's also another component of our mitzvahs, and that is the keeping of the mitzvahs of our Shabbos, of our kashras, of keeping halach in the right way, of saying the brachas, the blessings on our food, of putting on our tefillin in the morning, or doing a chesed, so many different uh, activities in the realm of mitzvahs. If a person will perform those mitzvahs besimcha with joy, they will accomplish much more in a short amount of time than to try to accomplish many, many, many mitzvahs, but to do it ba'atzvahs, to do it when you are sad. And this is something that we have to recognize as Rav Hirsch himself writes. The Pasik, the verse tells us, Ivdu es Hashem besimcha. Serve Hashem besimcha with joy. When you are serving Hashem, automatically it is besimcha, it is with joy. Because there's no greater gift, there's no greater honor and privilege and schos and merit that a person has in this world than to be able to serve Hashem. And therefore, says Rav Hirsch, if you're truly serving Hashem, which means you're making efforts in the mitzvahs that you're keeping to do it because the ruts and the will of God is such, then automatically you will be the simcha, you will rejoice and you will be happy with the great lot that Hashem has given you. So we'll try as we embark upon a new week A new week that's filled with opportunities, filled with potential, filled with moments in time that we will never receive again. We have to utilize them to the best of our abilities. And this will be that if we'll try to do our mitzvahs and learn our Torah and say our brachas and do chesed and be engaged in the world of mitzvah observance, we'll do it besimcha with joy we can begin to recognize we'll accomplish so much more than if we come begrudgingly, we feel that the mitzvahs are a tax upon us, we feel that it's a burden that's difficult for us to fulfill every day with so many opportunities and mitzvahs that we have to complete in order to fulfill our obligations. If it's a, if it's, if it's a burden, it's hard, and it's not going to be enjoyable. If we look at it as a privilege, then we will see that observing mitzvahs, learning Hashem's Torah, and doing the ruts and the will of Hashem, which is proper in His eyes, is the greatest simcha in the world, and how much a Yiddish and a Shama Jewish soul is going to accomplish. Wishing everybody a good avach, a good week, a Shavua Tov, a week that is filled with simcha in mitzvahs.